Now, here's an entertaining one about a gal, she's 23 years old, having a freaking meltdown because every guy she tries to go on a date with, which hopefully for her leads to a relationship, is no longer interested in her once she reveals her body count. And her actions have certainly coming back to bite her in the butt. Title, I hate how men value my body count. Shout out to Joseph for sending me the story. Says here, to start out, start this out. I'm 23 years old and I've had, you know what, with 36 men, which I know is more than average, but it's my life. 36, huh? I don't think there's anybody buying that it's just 36. The old American pie two thing, when a gal says her number, multiply times three. So probably we're talking about a hundred. I want to have all the fun that I can. She wanted fun. She can't just go to Disney World. In the last year, I've calmed down And I want to settle down and find a man to settle down with and start a family, but that's effing impossible. Well, when guys find out that you had relations with so many dudes and they certainly don't believe the number you're giving them, they might be a little apprehensive, fearful that their you-know-what is going to catch fire if they get anywhere close to you. When I match with a guy or just meet one in real life, the question they always ask is, what's your body count? When I tell them, I get a disgusted look usually and then I get ghosted. They're actually asking that in the first date. What do you do for a living? Uh, Where'd you go to school? What's your body count? How many you know what did you suck? Things have changed. Uh, One time I was told that that I'd been run through by a guy who who I thought was so street, so sweet. It just sucks. She says, I'm more than the men I've slept with, and I have cool hobbies and interests, and I've got a nice job after graduating high school. I guess I'll be a HOE in every man's eyes. And she says, also, a little update here. She says, P.S. Stop DMing me for a date. I'm not interested. So apparently on Reddit, she posted this, and all these guys are messaging her, obviously, for a date. Hook up. Also, she says, funny how the men who run this sub shut down this post that was getting something off my chest. Is, is what I guess, that's how it is. Thank you so much for the rewards. So this is a sign of what's yet to come because we're in a time period right now where, sadly, like I say, Sam Gamora 2.0, and thanks to dating apps and social media, gals can get bombarded with attention from guys 24-7. And it's the guy's fault for being that desperate and all that. So they have certainly options, as we all know. And thanks to the effingness movement, you can't be a strong, empowered gal in the 2020s unless you've hooked up with an obscene number of people. Now, 36, if that was an accurate number, that's pretty small all things considered how things are nowadays. Believe me, I've heard crazy numbers. You guys would make your mouths hit the floor. But still, that's still a lot of dudes. And what's interesting is that a lot of guys now are actually asking that question, what's your number? And guys are just back walking away saying, uh-uh, not happening. And she's freaking out. There are consequences to actions. If you're going to be the, as they say, the town bicycle, eventually no one's going to want to ride that bicycle. End of story. Maybe for a quick hookup, but for relationships, oh no. And again, the old thing about the whatever number a gal gives, multiply times three because they're never going to give the accurate number. I mean, by a show of hands, who believes that 36 is her actual, who, who thinks 36 is a bunch of BS? Right here. And I don't think anybody else is buying that either. And so there are consequences. And this is going to be the future with all these gals that doing what they do on social media, TikTok, Instagram, OnlyFans, all that, the the internet doesn't forget. And people are going to be able to do some homework, research you, and they see these things and be like, nope, not interested in her. When you have so many gals that behave in this way, which is just, I just can't imagine the parents of these gals that behave this way. But then again, one could argue, they kind of raised them that way. Who, Who knows? And that's going to be the future. And guys simply just are not going to get involved with gals like this nowadays. Plus, more guys are not interested in relationships at all. So, this is a pretty funny one here, the meltdown. She's only 23. So, what's probably going to happen is she's just going to simply lie and find some sucker, some nice guy. Because right here, they all want to settle. You saw it right there. I'm looking to settle down now. Because eventually they want to find that nice guy. Get the ring in their finger and all that. So, just be aware, gentlemen. This is how things are.